How are your personal experiences shaping your professional aspirations? I think the things that I do in my personal life are always affecting my professional life. Uh, they're, they're, they're a seamless combination. I actually don't have very much a distinction between the two. Uh, also probably problematic <laughs> uh, in some some parts of life, but uh, I prefer it that way, actually. It's, I, I think that having that really makes you a, I mean, saying a well-rounded person is kind of corny and ridiculous, but it, I think it may, just makes you a happier and more content person. So you don't have this line of like, I did that over here and now I'm going to go home and do that, or I'm going to go on vacation and do that. So um, the things that I do in my personal life uh, many times are consciously done to affect my professional life and vice versa. So as an example of that, whenever I go anywhere, and this is a broad example, but whenever I go anywhere, I see advertising or I see marketing and, and, and the world that I live in with my business, or I see food too. And I, and I think like, oh, that would be an interesting thing that I could do for the supper club, bit, you know, and all the different professional lives that I have. And vice versa, when I'm wherever I am for a shoot or a job or what, what, wherever, whatever, wherever that sort of takes me, there's always sort of that part of like, hmm, wish I should come back here and, and bring my wife and, and we can do this here and that here. And, and maybe those are very sort of practical pieces of, of how those two things integrate. Right. But uh, th like I said, there's no real hard line between those. And so it's very difficult for me to see how one influences the other, I think.